Hello everyone. We have already discussed two stanzas of uh, Alfred Lord Tennyson's poem Ulysses. And in today's presentation, we are going to take up the last stanza of the poem. So uh, here is the last stanza of the poem and uh, uh, Ulysses is clearly addressing uh, to his fellow companions here. He is about to go on another travel and uh, so he calls his uh, companions and he says there lies the port. So he, he, he points out towards the port. The vessel puffs her sail, there gloom the dark broad seas. So he says that the ship, he points out towards the port and he says that the ship is ready to sail and he can see the dark broad seas. He can see the white dark sea. My mariners, souls that have toiled and wrought and thought with me. So very clearly he addresses his fellow companions here. He says, my mariners, my mariners, that is talking about his, his companions who had accompanied him on his earlier voyages. So he says, my mariners, souls that have toiled and wrought and thought with me. That is, these are the companions who, are, who, had, alre who had always been on his side. And uh, so he calls them and he says that uh, uh, these companions who have all who had always been with him, he is calling those uh, companions to go on another uh, another exploration. That ever with a frolic welcome took the thunder and the sunshine. And, and then he reminds them that uh, these companions, they always used to welcome both the trouble as well as the good luck so the thunder here means the obstacles the trouble and uh, the sunshine means the good things so uh, these mariners uh, they they accepted everything that is the obstacles as well as the good part and they they uh, they faced every situation and opposed free hearts and free foreheads you and I are old. So Ulysses then acknowledges uh, that both he and his companions have grown old. So he says you and I are old. old. He admits that now he is also old and his companions are also old. Old age hath yet his honor and his toil. Death closes all but then Ulysses says that uh, even old age old age has its own honor and uh, even old age uh, in in old age men can uh, continue to work hard and earn respect so he says that old age hath yet his honor and his toil death closes all now death it brings an end to everything so he says that uh, uh, since they are old soon they will die but still they they still have a chance to do something but something or the end that is something should be done before the end or means before so he says that death closes all death puts an end to everything but something can still be done before the end some work of noble note may yet be done not unbecoming men that strove with gods. So he, Ulysses, he still believes that some noble deed, some noble work can still be done, although they have grown old, but still some noble or some great deed can be done. And something heroic can be done that once ba uh, battled with the gods, strove with the gods, battled with the gods. The lights begin to twinkle from the rocks, the long day wanes, the slow moon climbs, the deep moons round with many 
voices then he points uh, to the uh, to his own town uh, that is Ithaca and he points out and he says that uh, the light uh, the lamps are the lamps are lit in their in their homes and uh, it is the night time the moon is slowly climbing and uh, uh, the deep the deep that is the sea the sea is moaning with many voices that is uh, the waves of the sea they are making a sound and it appears as if uh, they are speaking to Ulysses come my friends it's not too late to seek a newer newer world so he calls to his friends and he says that uh, it is still not late and uh, they should rise and uh, they should uh, go in search of a newer world so he urges his friends to to join him in in this journey it is not too late to seek a newer world it, although they are they have grown old but still it's not late to so to go on a search of a newer world push off and sitting well in order smite the sounding furrows for my purpose holds to sail beyond the sunset and the baths of all the western stars until i die so he 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 calls his companions and uh, he says that push off that is we should start to say we should start uh, on our journey and we should uh, smite the sign, sounding furrows smite smite means attack attack the furrows that is the waves so he 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 requests his companions uh, to board on the ship and uh, to beat the waves for my purpose holds to sail beyond the sunset he says that he aims his purpose his goal is to pass the horizon to go beyond the sunset that is to go beyond the horizon as far as he can go to so to sail beyond the sunset and the baths of all the western stars until i die so he his goal is to go on a very long journey to go as far as he can go before he dies he wants to uh, he wants to reach that place uh, uh, that place where all the western stars sink it may be that the gulf will wash us down it may be we shall touch the happy isles and see the great Achilles whom we knew so he says that it may be it may be that uh, their ships may sink it may be that the gulfs gulfs means the ocean will wash us down that is their ships may may sink and they might die it may be we shall touch the happy isles so he says that um, it may be that their ships sink and then they would uh, reach to the place where uh, where the blessed souls go after death that is they would reach heaven and there they would meet the great hero that is Achilles Achilles the great hero so there uh, they would uh, meet uh, the uh, the great hero Achilles though much is taken much abides then he says that the old age uh, since they have grown old uh, many things have been taken away uh, many of uh, their he he heroic qualities are no more with them so she, he says though much is taken because of the old age much abides much is still left behind much is still there and though we are not now that strength which in old days moved earth and heaven that which we are we are so he admits that they he uh, they don't have the same strength that they used to possess as a youth so but still uh, but still he is confident and he says that uh, we still have something we are not now that strength which 
in old days moved earth and heaven so he is talking about his young days he, he says that in his youth uh, in their youth they had the strength to move the earth and the heaven but still whatever they are they are and one equal temper of heroic hearts made weak by time and fate but strong in will to strive to see to find and not to yield but still all um, uh, they they because of the old days they might have lost many things but still they have got a heroic heart they have uh, the, uh, they have the heroic heart their minds and hearts are still brave and uh, although their bodies uh, have been weakened by old age but still their spirits are strong strong in will their will is very strong and their will is so strong that uh, it will push them to to strive to see to find that is to um, to work hard to to pursue their goals and to accomplish them so the determination is so strong their will is so strong that he is optimistic that they will strike they will seek and they will find and not to yield and they should not surrender to yield means surrender that is although they have grown old but still because of their strong will power they can go on another adventurous journey the poem uh, ulysses is a perfect example of a dramatic monologue dramatic monologue was invented and practiced by poets like robert browning and tennyson as in a dramatic monologue we have a single speaker here and the speaker is ulysses and uh, uh, the audience here seem to be uh, the fellow men uh, of ulysses that is his companions who accompanied him on his voyages the poem it is uh, written in free verse it uh, does not contain patterns of rhyme or meter uh, so this is a free verse poem with no strict rhyme scheme or a metrical pattern the lines are in blank verse or unrhymed iambic pentameter then uh, the poem it encompasses uh, many important themes like uh, 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 the theme of exploration uh, brotherhood and optimism the poem ends on an optimistic note tennyson uh, makes use of symbolism here for example in the second line still hurt and barren crags they are the symbol of an idle life metaphor all uh, uh, the poet makes use of metaphor also he compares uh, the dull life of ulysses to a rusted sword so these are few things to be taken into account while you are uh, giving a critical analysis of the poem